Good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday. It is August the 21st here in Boston, Massachusetts, 9.01 a.m. on Saturday, August the 21st, Eastern Standard Time in the United States of America. So this is LaQueen Battle. I am very happy to be here today. I have been following the U.S. Uh, United States stance on providing assistance in Afghanistan for the past about 72 hours and it's been it's been a long and a a struggle to understand the impact of the forces as well as our American troops overseas and above and what they're doing right now in the country of Afghanistan. So um, as being a person in the medical field, um, being a person who who's looking for a future working domestically as overseas and figuring out what is my job and what is my duties, as well as being a medical professional and then being a woman of the Christian faith it is sometimes a struggle to figure out who I am and what my identity is. So um, I have been following um, the news reports as well as the constant, constant feedback, especially here on YouTube. I have been following that feedback um, with um, pretty much ABC, Fox News, um, and all over trying to establish where, what, what where is my place and what do I need to do so um, every single um, word that comes out of my mouth every single stance that I make is still very very much hard um, being available for services as well as being here and doing what is necessary in order to um, get across what needs to be done. So um, right now the United States is in, um, is in a spot where we are actually now receiving assistance from different countries overseas and they're talking about that they are blocking people from going to the airports. I'm just going to follow up on what's been lately on my uh, my Facebook feed so pretty much <laughs> excuse me about that um, President Joe Biden is actually being able to get the kind of assistance support that he needs with his administrative staff uh, with the Department of Justice with um, everything else that's going overseas he's actually now being able to get um, the international support and help the remedies that America needs overseas right now. There's been a, been a report on CNN that, that the United States announces new destinations for evacuees as Kabul airport confusion continues. Um, they are holding people, a host, not hostage, but they are blocking people, um, especially Americans, the thousands and thousands of Americans in Afghanistan from getting access to the uh, airport in Kabul. Um, so I did send out a report on my uh, my Facebook, Twitter, Twitter handles, letting them know the destinations that other countries are willing to accept Americans as well, um, being um, other countries like Germany, Italy, Kazakhstan, Kuwait, uh, Turkey, the Arabic, the United Arab Arabics, the United Kingdom. Uh, Canada, Colombia, Costa Rica, Chile, Kosovo, Mexico, Poland, Qatar, Rwanda, Ukraine, Uganda, all of these countries are now willing to take Americans. So I think it's uh, Americans in as well as refugees in Afghanistan, which is a great, great, uh, uh, a wonderful and a huge idea, huge support system for these uh, these are international community to become more involved in what needs to be done um, so I think that's amazing um, and then continuing to support the initiatives behind the American Red Cross and what is going on with um, with 
their support as you know the the, um, the American Red Cross just released a statement showing that they will still completely provide humanitarian needs in Afghanistan um, even through the conflict the extreme drought COVID is affecting them but the ICRC as well as the American Red Cross is trying to do what is best necessary needed to provide support systems for people right now um, overseas and especially in the country of Afghanistan so I think that that is an amazing opportunity and I think that's an amazing um, uh, chance in order for uh, people as well as the American Red Cross to provide assistance as necessary and as needed. So I can I do support the American Red Cross as well as do support all of the agencies overseas that are pretty much doing what they can to support the causes of the United States. Now, um, pretty much a lot of the feed that I'm getting at is through YouTube. Now, YouTube is great. YouTube is an international outlet, but a lot of these a lot of these media outlets. Um, they're feeding everything to YouTube, but there are other other international outlets out there in order to get the point across. Um, I've been watching DW News. That's great, and I've been posting my, the updated time where where when, when I hear when I do hear this report. Um, I've been following Fox News. I've been following uh, WION. I've been following Al Jazeera. I've been following ABC News. I've been following. Um, France 21 and Al Jazeera and Vice News and and everything else that is needed in order to make sure that somehow some way um, this report comes across and so I sent out a couple of emails to some correspondents who are now to some, to, to some correspondents who are now out of the country of Afghanistan which is good but now they have replacements in order to get them across um, to a safety safety zone. So I know the people of Afghanistan, um, as well as the American citizens who are overseas, who are pretty, are going through um, extreme amounts of stress and extreme amounts of of. Uh, Turmoil, fear, regret, they really don't understand what's going on. And it's hard. It's really hard for people to comprehend at this moment in time what to do and where to be and how to get, how to uh, be safe and take care of themselves and their families, okay? So at the same time, it's still so very hard. It's still so very hard to continue, continually to continually, continually, continually follow the feed and follow the news reports of what to do and where to go from there. Okay, so it's extremely hard to figure out where to go at this moment, at this next moment in time. So I also sent out a message to uh, Ms. Frazier. She was also a correspondent in the United States who just did a podcast today through the United Nations um, saying that, uh, giving a report on on how, uh, what she's doing, um, uh, what the support systems have provided for um, through the United Nations, United Nations. So there have been several, several news agencies out there that are providing assistance as necessary so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a couple of agencies out there that you continue to support and uplift them especially right now with what is happening overseas what is very important is that we fo also focus not just on the media security of the media outlets but also security of our medical professionals our medics our doctors our clinicians our staffs our teams our people out there who are working in hospitals who are working in clinics who are working 
in the medical field and providing assistance as necessary during this time of need. So there's agencies out there like Doctors of, Doctors Without Borders. There's the NATO coalition who is providing an international relations of how to understand this crisis at this time. There's the World Health Organization who is continually giving feedback and continually providing training and assistance that is needed for this international conflict that is going on right now. There's the Human Rights Council. There's the United Nations. There is the um, Samaritan Purse. Samaritan Purse, which is a great, great international organization out there providing assistance to uh, people, um, has been providing assistance for years and years and years and years and years. So again, um, I just want to go ahead and give out support right now to the numerous, numerous, numerous amounts of nonprofits as well as, as well as agencies out there willing to do what is necessary and willing to go above and beyond call to help with the to help provide food, to help provide assistance, to help provide whatever is necessary and needed at this moment in time. Um, uh, of course, the World Health, World Health Organization, the United Nations, the uh, NATO, all of these treaties, all of these uh, influences have been a major, major impact um, to uh, help with international conflicts, especially right now with what's going on with the Taliban, okay? So, uh, these agencies have done extreme amount of work, have had people supporting them, have had volunteers, support, some support systems out there going above and beyond the call. So it is, it is a lot, a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure to go out there and say, hey, we we need the support. Um, we we want to come together as a group. We want to come together as a treaty, as a support system out there to reach out to the international community and to figure out what do we need to do and how do we best come together to solve this remedy and be a support system for other people at this moment in time. Okay, so again, I want to go ahead and thank to, thank you to the following agencies out there who are continually providing assistance, which I gave before, the American Red Cross, the International Committee for the Red Cross, the World Health Organization, the United Nations, and as well as these uh, the abundance of many countries out there who are willing to go above and beyond to provide assistance and safety and security as well as getting out there and to the uh, numerous amount of countries and agencies out there who are willing to do what is necessary and what needed uh, to help people at this moment in time. Okay, so this is LaQueen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services coming here from Boston, Massachusetts, going through a lot, providing you guys with a say so of what to do at this moment in time. I am a nonprofit agency. I am a first aid responder here in the city of Boston. I'm pretty much doing all of this by myself, and this is a lot, a lot, a lot of work, okay? I'm also a published author. I'm also right now writing another report on providing um, first aid services services at United at American airports from so I'm right now working on doing another report following the YouTube videos that I posted from this following year so it is extreme amount of stress that we're going through um, that America is going through so I'm on I'm also on change.org I'm also on YouTube I have a lot of platforms on Facebook on Twitter on Instagram on LinkedIn a lot of feedback that I'm getting and support that I'm getting but I need your support I need your financial assistance so I would appreciate it if you would like to continually to donate to me and my non in my nonprofit agency battle first aid responder services either cash app paypal venmo uh at the handle battle first aid responder services and it is an official nonprofit 501c3 agency here in the boston area so i would appreciate your donations to continue to go out there and provide assistance as necessary i cannot do this by myself i need your support and i need your help right now 
um, a lot of these agencies cannot do it by themselves. So when I'm watching YouTube, it's, it's all these reports, all these videos are coming in day by day by day by day. People are saying that we need help, we need help, we need help. And it is a lot to continue to follow the feedback, the feedback, the feedback, the feedback, uh, the report, the video after video, the message after message, it is a lot. So we have to continue to do what we need to do in order to get out there and be some kind of a need, some kind of remedy to the people to the American citizens overseas, to people that are needed assistance right now um, with foreign diplomacy, as well as going out there and doing what is necessary, what is needed at this moment in time, okay? We cannot do it by ourselves. We need your help and we need your support, okay? So this is Laqueen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. I'm here in the Boston area. You can also email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com, B-A-T-T-L-E, the number one, S-T at icloud.com. Dot com. It is a lot, a lot, a lot of reports coming in day by day by day. People are talking to me day by day by day. I really can't get the message across like I want to, but through other international media media outlets, um, there's a lot that needs to be done. Okay, provide first aid assistance at American airports, as well as getting out there providing first aid assistance uh, for um, for a lot, a lot of say so. Okay, a lot of say so. We as Americans still have a voice. We as Americans still have opinion. Okay, we still have a voice. We still can go out there and do what needs to be done. Okay, so. We still have a voice. And I would encourage you, wherever you're going through, to continue to go out there and say, where can I be of need? Where can I volunteer in my community? How can I make a difference? Whether it's a hurricane, whether it's a tropical storm, what can I do in order to best be of need to my community and help help others who are going through the same thing? Okay, the same thing. All right. So this is Laqueen Battle, Battle First Aid Responder Services Incorporated, uh, a adult and pediatric first aid certified medical assistant, community health advisor. I cannot do this by myself. I need your help. And these con- constant feeds, okay, are coming into me, especially on YouTube, day by day by day by day. It's hard to reach out to provide assistance as necessary and assistance as needed, but we will do and we will try um, to get out there and to help remedy the cause of people who are suffering right now overseas. For overseas, who are suffering right now overseas from a losing war. We can only we can only do so much with what little we have. Okay, all right, so this is Laqueen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. Thank you so much for your support and assistance. I really do appreciate it. God bless you.